in PowerShell 2015, improvements have been made to the fill-in tool in the Smart Surfacer. So what I want to do is fill in this surface here. First of all, I'll show you what happened in 2014. If I zoom into this edge here, we've used the fill-in option, and you can see we've got a sag there. So obviously that's undesirable. So now I'm in 2015, what I'm going to do is create a composite curve along that edge. I'm going to go to my smart surfacer. I'm going to say fill in, OK. And now you can see that we've got a nice straight edge across my surface. And the reason for this, if I just keep this surface and enter surface trim region editing, you can see that that surface has been created from a cylinder. If I go across to my surface that I created in 2014 and do exactly the same thing, you can see that it's been created as a NURB surface.